Okay. Oh, I've not had a drink all night. I've been waiting and I should have just got smashed and it would have been fine. Oh. So, ladies and gents, my name's Amy. Let's get some normality back into the room. I actually work for Clare House Children's Hospice. Can I get a whoop? Thank you. So, when I got asked to, uh, to help out tonight, I genuinely thought I'd be behind the bar or something, you know, stuck in the chairs, but here I am dressed as Tina Turner, telling you some jokes, so, follow in, Ian. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, they asked me to find a topic to talk about something that I know a lot about. Um, the only thing I can really talk about is relationships, and um, you'll see there's no ring on my finger, so whilst I do have a lot of experience, I'm clearly not putting out enough. So. But I like relationships, I'm in one at the moment, it's great. In fact, he's here tonight, so it's wonderful. It's amazing. Whenever you're ready, sunshine, I'm ready. <laughs> um, but I do like relationships, but they change throughout the time that you're with somebody. So in the early stages of the relationship, you really like them. Uh, towards the end, not so much. The early stages of the relationship, you kind of look lovingly into each other's eyes like this. Like Ian. <laughs> Two years later in the relationship, your boyfriend looks at you like that, and you lose your mind, you're like, why are you looking at me like that? Are you creeping? Have you done something wrong? If it's that Sandra from reception again, I'll knock her face in. <laughs> Another example, in the early stages of a relationship, you tend, to, you tend to share everything. And I don't mean like secrets or anything, like my boyfriend will never know I used to be a man, for example. <laughs> I thought the Adam's apple and the big hands would give it away, but maybe the penis, but no. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Look at the size of my hands in time. <laughs> Look how tight these pants are. No. <laughs> but no, I mean like sharing possessions and things. So like when you're in the early stages of your relationship, you kind of, you share everything. You're like, babes, I'm just going to get a juice. Should I just get one between us and we'll just share it? <laughs> Two years later, you're in the Asda. Doing your weekly shop, you come out and meet your boyfriend after it. He's like, hey babes, can I have some of your juice? You're like, have you not just seen me in the Asda? You had plenty of opportunity to go and get your own juice. Should I have any Juice, go on by your own! It's difficult. And it doesn't end there. Two days later, you're out on the ale in town, you miss a taxi because your boyfriend's pissed. You get into a round, you're like, we missed a taxi because of you, you pisshead. And you don't even buy your own juice anymore. <laughs> the art of communication in relationships, that's changed now. We used to write sonnets and love poems. Now, we've kind of gone back in time to like Egyptian hieroglyphics because we send emojis. <laughs> yeah? For those of you that don't know, <laughs> this bit's going to go downhill then. Uh, emojis are symbols that sum up exactly what we want to say without having to say anything at all. So now when we want someone to stop talking, Ian, we go like this, hand emoji. <laughs> and people know. When we really want someone to stop talking, Ian. <laughs> We send a backdoor emoji. I mean, that has other meanings, but we won't talk about that today. Now, when you're angry with someone, you send an angry face emoji with, I don't know, maybe a juice. Then you know what you're talking about straight away. I just think it's funny that everyone's kind of come on effing and jeffing and I've come up tonight to talk to you about juice. <laughs> Way to end it. But if we carry on down this road, soon our songs are going to start changing. Soon you're going to turn on the radio and you're going to hear some kind of different love songs. Welcome Adele. <clears throat> Soon you're going to hear a song that sounds like this. This is my song called Hey I'm Using WhatsApp. <laughs> hey I'm on WhatsApp, we've just swapped our mobile numbers. We've been texting for two days and although you are so much younger, I like you. <laughs> Your mobile picture's pretty cute. It's really cute. WhatsApp texts are getting pretty awesome He said he would like to meet me Like in real life, like in person Goodness me But hang on, what does this emoji mean? <laughs> an aubergine <laughs> Oh, he sent an aubergine I'm not sure what that means <laughs> Shout your text to my friends And this is where the mystery ends Cause actually you're referencing down there 
my friends have all made fun of you I'm sending the emoji poo I'm mortified I've never felt this way I hope your willy disappears off my screen Is that clear? Cause now you can consider yourself blocked Along with 